Doria Ragland was seen returning to her job as a yoga teacher this week, amid reports Prince Harry and his pregnant wife Meghan have gained permission to build a mother and baby yoga room at their Windsor home. Having enjoyed a quiet Christmas in L.A. after she reportedly turned down an invite to spend the festive season with the royal family in Sandringham, Meghan's mother was seen dressed in casual clothes as she returned to her post at the senior citizen living facility. Pictured wearing casual combats and a guilet as she juggled her car keys and a notepad, Doria, 62, appeared in good spirits as she headed to her car. According to reports she could split her time between L.A. and Meghan and Harry's new home at Windsor Castle when refurbishment is complete, to help raise their firstborn child, due in the spring. The royal couple, who will leave their cottage in the grounds of Kensington Palace where they currently reside alongside Kate and William, are said to be having a studio built, which will also feature a special floating floor as part of the pound three million refurbishment at Grade 2 listed Frogmore Cottage. Sources told The Express that a new floor with a yoga studio is being installed so the family can enjoy regular sessions together. Planners at Windsor and Maidenhead Council gave approval for builders to tear up the original Victorian boards to build the sprung floor, more usually found in dance, exercise and music studios. It means vibrations and noise will not leak into the rest of the house. The original floorboards will be retained and used elsewhere. Harry. 34, has become a yoga fan after Meghan, 37, who is due to give birth in the spring, introduced him to it last year. A friend revealed, it has brought calmness to his life. Meghan has kept up her own routine during her pregnancy and many experts say gentle stretching is highly beneficial for babies too. The new prince or princess will be the first royal baby to be skilled in yoga. The Duchess has been a devotee for years and her mother Doria Ragland is a lifelong practitioner and teacher. The friend revealed, Harry has been very supportive of Meghan and has worked with her in her yoga through her pregnancy. They want to give their child the healthiest, happiest start in life. Architects for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have also been given permission to remove one of the building's distinctive chimneys. A smaller one is to be built elsewhere on the roof. The changes may cause accusations of favoritism and annoy conservationists. However, strict conditions have been imposed by the council to ensure the plans protect and preserve the house, which is now covered in a huge white marquee. Chimney pots from the original stack are to be reused and surveyors have promised to patch the roof in exactly the same style. Inside the property, which the couple hope will be completed in spring, an elaborate gone with the wind style double staircase is said to be replacing the hodgepodge of stairs crisscrossing the interior. New grand fireplaces will also be installed in the cottage's principal rooms to complete the deluxe mini mansion makeover. Planners approved the scheme five days before Christmas but have kept many details under wraps due to security. New walls, anti intruder landscaping, and high security gates have also been agreed as long as councillors can see the plans in advance. The friend explained, Harry and Meghan can't wait for the changes. This is the home they've planned and designed themselves. The Duchess of Sussex has long been an advocate of natural lifestyle choices including meditation, yoga and a balanced diet. During her recent tour of Australia, Meghan told royal fans how she was relying on yoga to boost her energy levels. A source previously told Vanity Fair Meghan is busy drawing up plans for a nursery at Frogmore Cottage as well as a mother-in-law suite for Doria Ragland, who will be encouraging Meg to go for a natural birth. Meghan is not expected to check into the private £7,500 a night Lena wing at St Mary's Hospital in London, where Kate Middleton gave birth to all three of her children, but rather at home in Windsor. A source said at the time, Doria plans to be around a lot when the baby arrives, and there are plans for her to have a dedicated space at their new home. She wants to be on hand to help Meghan and Harry with the baby. Doria will be involved and if she's involved she will be encouraging Meg to go for a natural birth.